So where exactly are we? Uh, we're in the Peak District, uh, Lady Bower Reservoir, on a nice, uh, fresh Thursday morning. And it's awesome. Always is when you're out first thing in the morning. I almost didn't get up this morning. Uh, but a certain gentleman on YouTube inspired me to get out of bed. I remain nameless, Graham. And I've come back to a place uh, that I've taken shots at before. Um, the bridge going over Lady Bower Reservoir. And this is the view. Pretty spectacular this morning with the mist on the actual reservoir itself. And this place has got a, a really interesting history. I'm going to turn the camera around. So, underneath there, there's a village. And there's a picture which I will put up now. You can see that the uh, aqueduct uh, was being built over the village and then they flooded the valley and obviously the people left <laughs> uh, but what was interesting is the church spire for years and years and years in when the water got low would stick out the uh, water and also the bell would ring and health and safety bods thought that wasn't a good idea so they came and blew it up uh, but why am I here? I'm here because this bridge has been lucky to me. I've won a major competition, in fact two major competitions uh, with this image here. But that image, when I got it, I wanted early morning sunrise image. Uh, so I've come back. Now looking at the clouds, we're not going to get the type of image that I really wanted, but the white is beautiful and we will take a few shots and see what we get. We're not walking around, we're not going crazy and know what shot I want uh, and I've come here specifically for this shot. So we're set up in live view, uh, F8 with a 0.3 ND grad on the front. Polarizer is on, take some glare out the water. Focusing on the bridge, I'm not too worried about the near foreground. Um, it will be in focus uh, because I'm not 18 inches away, three feet away from the foreground, and it's mainly going to be water. So I've been given a tip by a friend that there is a nice reservoir up here uh, in Otley with a pretty bridge going over the reservoir itself. Uh, light's not brilliant today, pretty bland sky, but we're going to see what we can get at Otley. Can't be any worse than Norfolk. Yeah, at uh, the location that I'm shooting north of Otley, it's a reservoir. Uh, with uh, a viaduct or a bridge going over the actual reservoir itself. Uh, you can see that we are absolutely caked in mud, which is as per usual, uh, but it's a lovely location if not a tad cold. So this is the view. Got a lot of ripples on the water. I want to uh, blanket that off. I want to make that like glass. So we are shooting with my favourite lens which is my 60 to 35 we're on f8 and we're on 30 seconds with the 10 stop uh, filter on the front and the polarizer on i've just taken a shot test shot and we are looking something like that what i'm going to do is i'm going to get my cable release out uh, we're at 30 seconds there i want to go a little bit stronger on or longer on the exposure uh, to see if we can get a little bit more definition of the actual uh, bank uh, on the right hand side just looks a little bit dark here on the right hand side just check the histogram what are we doing Jono? I forgot what to do with the camera 
I'm really happy with the lights on the right hand side but not blowing out so I could certainly go a little bit longer on the exposure and that's what we're going to do. I've just taken the uh, uh, lens back to 16mm. I'm not really happy with the composition of the, the shot. Uh, we are shooting again. Uh, happy with the exposure at 48 seconds so we're going to shoot another shot at 48 seconds see what we get and then we're going to go to my trusty f16 and shoot at f16 always helps when you're shooting uh, with a 10 stop filter and you're shooting for exposure at 10 stop filter that you actually put the filter on the camera i just didn't do and guess what we've got a white image don't like the composition at all i don't like where i am the problem is is, is it's really really boggy I'd far prefer to be up here somewhere, but it's just like a quagmire. I'm not going to be able to get at any position at all to get a good picture. So, you know, this one might be a bust. Um, we'll see. Uh, the most important thing with photography is composition and then composition and then composition. If you're going to shoot, don't shoot if you don't think you're going to get the composition. And that's what I'm doing at the moment. I'm shooting when I'm not happy. Uh, the thing is, is uh, we're shooting this bank here on the right hand side and it looks great when it's in silhouette but it's muddy and it's gross and it's not pretty at all. So what I'm hoping is that when we get the shot back in post-production we can make that a silhouette and make it dark so the shot looks something like. I've gone to a trusty F16, uh, exactly the same setup, polarised on the front, 10 stop and we are at 55 seconds and we're just about to stop the exposure at 55. Now the question you got to ask yourself is can I be bothered to move further back up that way? I think I'm going to have to. I might regret this because I might fall over but I'm going to move. Mud. Mud. Glorious mud. It's not the best conditions to shoot in. Yeah, we've moved, yeah? We were over there. And we've moved here the lights coming out and um, as the light illuminates the area the trees at the back are, are, are coming a beautiful shade of orange um, and we could get something that looks pretty decent so just keeping our fingers crossed as I say here don't give up just keep having a go as long as you're happy with your composition then wait for the light and shoot the beauty of uh, shooting long exposure is, is, is that there's a lot of traffic going past and over this bridge uh, but because it's long exposure you won't see the traffic and disappear. The light's just coming from the valley up here and it's starting to illuminate it. Now what I've done is as I moved the composition round to the left I was shooting over in that direction and I've just moved things round a tad and composition looks a lot better. All those trees are lit up and it's getting better as we speak so we've got a long exposure running and i'm going to let that run for about two minutes 30 seconds and it's going to catch the light as it changes and we're going to have a lovely illuminated background and then the contrast of the darker foreground should make for a really nice shot what was possibly damp squib we might get an image People are walking across the bridge, which isn't good. But hopefully, long exposure will stop it from being ruined by the people walking along the bridge. Two, three, four, five, stop. And that's the shot. After all my moaning, I really like the shot. The shot in the camera, anyway, looks lovely. Uh, but you know, the, the, the camera can sometimes lie when you're looking in live view and you check the, the image, it looks brilliant, and you get it home and it's not, it's pants. That's the action. <laughs> That's the Otley shoot done. That's uh, three shoots in five days. That should have been. Uh, four shoots in five days but obviously we didn't get anything with the Norfolk coastline. Uh, I'm going home now for a cup of tea and a bacon butty. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video. See you soon. Bye.